Hi, my name is Camila Garcia. I'm a mechanical engineer at US Digital, and this is my latest automation project. Before we talk about what it does, let's get into why we built this. We recently installed another injection molding machine that creates lenses for our EM1 and EM2 encoder modules. And we needed to design a new automated solution for processing those lenses. Since the parts are so small, it doesn't make sense to process them by hand. We already have an automated solution on our current lens machine, but this was a good opportunity to revisit that design and further improve its efficiency. The EM1 and the EM2 are standalone products and critical components to many of our incremental encoders. It's important that we make sure we have redundancy, having multiple machines, and we're always looking for ways to improve our products. So, back to what this thing does. The molding machine makes a set of four lenses every 30 seconds. The robotic arm picks up the set of lenses and removes them from a plastic piece that holds them together. The runner is dumped into a recycling bin, and the four lenses are transported to the testing station. The first time the handoff from the end of arm to the test carousel came, I was kind of just like watching it intensely, waiting for it to crash or something, and seeing the handoff kind of work seamlessly was really satisfying. The testing station has a few design improvements over the previous model. It does a little air blowout to make sure that the lenses kind of sit in the pocket as well as that little twitch that was programmed in. It solved a lot of the issues that they were having with the previous model. Each lens is tested in a special EM1 module to make sure there are no major defects from the molding process. Bad parts are rejected. Good parts are placed into one of two reels for storage. The reels are then sealed. So the current system is quite limited as far as its capacity. It only has a one reel system. This new system enables us to produce two reels without any operator intervention. This enables us to run essentially on a four day work week, seven days of production. We gave this project specifically to Camilla because we wanted to challenge her and also give her an opportunity to develop an automated system like something she's never developed before. What she was able to do was collaborate with the other engineers, utilize their experience, their expertise, and build it into a reliable, well-designed system that really does work for the operators. It feels really good and rewarding to, to hear how happy everybody is with the machine. So, yeah, it makes me feel good. <laughs>